All right, so welcome back. This is Season 2, Episode 1 of our Elite Let's Play Poorly. So, the last uh, series was an unmodded playthrough. This one is going to be modded. Uh, I told myself I was going to reduce the number of expansions, the number of OXPs in this setup, and I did by about 10. <laughs> so I still have close to 400, I just can't bring myself to get rid of them. Uh, I managed to reduce some of the conflicts that were going on in the previous series. Um, I mean, there weren't that many. I, honestly, it wasn't that big of a problem. And a lot of the things that I thought were issues, I thought were conflicts, were just conflicts were just actually how everything worked. Um, so uh, we'll continue. So this time around, I think our goal is going to be to, uh, as we did last time, is to just make enough money to get more parts. Uh, to expand the ship, get a new ship, uh, maybe do a lot more missions this time. Uh, I'm just going to be a little bit less conservative, I think, about taking missions that take me to far fun places, because I, I might as well just go explore now. So I'm going to start with a new commander, and uh, this time around I'm definitely going to start um, with a whole bunch of things already installed. In the unmodded pl uh, playthrough, it was just uh, it was tedious in the beginning, just because you didn't have enough of the stuff that you normally would just get right away. Uh, so the standard modern start, which is one of the OXPs, gives us fuel scoops, which face fuel injectors, the scanner targeting enhancement. So that's our base level. The medium is a little bit more challenging, apparently. Uh, starts with a moray starboat. Oh god, that thing is tiny, isn't it? And the hard start is a Cobra Mark One. The harder start is an Adder. The minor start is a Cobra Mark One, and it has an aft-fitted mining laser. And then the hauler start um, is a beaten-up Python. Seen better days and needs a maintenance overhaul urgently. And go straight to cargo hauling, but be prepared for malfunctions until you get her maintained. That's rough. I don't know if I want to do that. This one is an easy start, fast track start. There's a medium start. And what else we got? Hard, harder, hauler. Yeah, so a bunch of different OXPs do different things. So I'm just going to go back with a modern start. Maybe if we do a season three, I'll try to do a hauler start. As that does sound actually like, like uh, it would be a fair amount of fun. So let's do the modern start here. Can't remember if we did a modern start for the first season or not, but uh, probably did. Yeah, because I, I don't think I would have wanted to go without the fuel injectors right up front. That's uh, not good entertainment. Okay, Galactic Almanac of Stars has been updated. We're good there. Uh, this is about the um, uh, the aliens. Uh, Wow, the space lizards, or whatever they're called, space dragons or something. The stellar serpents, there we go, it's right there. It, it's right there. All right, so what we're gonna do, oh gosh, it's been a minute. So we're gonna save as Archibus, and then we're gonna save again as Archibus Backup. And then we're gonna save one last time as Archibus so that this is our quick save. There we go. All right. So let's take a look. We have the things that we were looking for. Yeah, we've got the uh, fast target selector, fuel scoops, which drive fuel injectors. We have uh, our tiny little 1919 pulse laser. Definitely want to switch that out for a beam laser. We learned that one uh, very much the hard way last time. All right. So what do we got here? Where are we? We're in Lave this time. Uh, I think maybe the last time we started in Tianisla? That's usually how I start, but Lave is the way we're starting this time around. It's an agricultural... Uh, ooh, let's see, what is my... Yeah, there, there we go. It's a rich agricultural, tech level 5. It looks like it's a dictatorship. Yeah. Not so great. Um, sort of a medium level start there. A medium level planet to start at. So, ooh, what are we going to do? First thing, I guess, we're going to get some cargo. 
we go. Sort by price. Oh, I'm so glad we've got the differentials back. I uh, switched the fonts out uh, to a different one that uh, kind of looks a little bit more fun. Uh, it does tighten this up a little bit, makes these a little bit harder to read directly, but that's okay. All right, so what do we got? Oh yeah, and there's so many more things here. Let's do... Okay, the furs is not great. It's only minus 1.7% off galactic differential average, galactic average differential. Uh, liquor and wines is good. And we only have 20 tons, that's right. And we can only get three of those because we have almost no money. All right. Well, that's what we'll do. So where are we going? Uh, with the liquor and wines, let's, uh, let's head over to here. Because I don't want to spend too much of my fuel. Uh, I'm a little rusty. I haven't played in, a, in the game in about a week or so. So it's going to take me a minute to kind of get back into the swing of things, I think. All right. I do remember that I like to quick save. Okay, here we go. Go, all right. And I do have my uh, my jukebox, my contextual jukebox installed, uh, the OXP that I created, which honestly I didn't really create it so much as just adapted the uh, the orchestral demo OXP and then uh, added music from soundimage.org, uh, which is all free to use uh, with uh, no uh, uh, with a free license. So. I'm grateful to Eric Matias uh, for creating that and uh, providing all this cool ambient stuff. So, all right, let's go. Oh, gosh, that's right. I have the wrong HUD. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. I didn't recognize that I had the wrong HUD installed. I want my Vimana HUD back. I don't like this one at all. All right, so once we get back... Once we get back to our uh, to the station, to the next station, we're going we're gonna to switch out that HUD. I mean, I kind of got used to it. It is readable, but boy, is it just like very 80s. All right. Oh, and I don't have a space compass. I don't have a telescope. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, well, of course, I didn't have a telescope last time either in the, in the uh, unmodded. That was, was a lot of it was, it was, it was very painful to play. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I will be honest with you. Uh, all right. See if I can get back in the swing of things here. Kind of reminded me a little bit, uh, just in terms of the cl not claustrophobia. I don't know the best way to put it, but just like the feeling of being a little cramped in the game. Um, there we go. Uh, it was like um, when I uh, tried playing uh, Sentinel Worlds Future Magic again. I'm so bad at it. And uh, I cannot, I cannot, I can't get past the first stage in that game of like fighting off the raiders because I don't know what I'm supposed to do, where to go. I have there's no information provided. It's just absolutely rough. And that's kind of how I felt playing uh, playing the unmodded elite. I wonder if this uh, audio is a little up, too high, maybe. Let's see, I'm going to just touch it down a little bit. There we go. So one of the things that I noticed a lot in the unmodded is the uh, the fact that the shade, the shading, the shadows were a lot stronger in that version of the game uh, as compared to this one. And uh, I've I think what it really ultimately came down to was the change in the way the sun was handled by making it more realistic distance, uh, making uh, making the uh, the relative distances and sizes and brightnesses um, better. It ended up reducing the visual uh, sumptuousness value, I guess is a way to put it. But if I go back around here. Uh, just because you're constantly seeing the bright sides of everything. 
But if I go here, we get it back, right? So we, we actually have the darkness again. It's just that there's not as... You don't see this as often um, in the start that uses uh, Stranger's World uh, 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 ambience mods for the planets and all that stuff. But this is Lave, and we do get the dark side of the planet. So, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not terrible. It's just it was a different set of conditions that resulted in the shadows and the shading being more prominent in the unmodded but they are in fact here so you can see look look at that all right oh no there we go oh yes and we got the targeting system right up front because it's part of that modern start oh yeah I forgot I put that back in yeah I put all my mods back in I'm not allowed to, to dock here so I'm gonna get fined that's all right and there's a lot more traffic in this uh, modded version, which again is kind of what I like. I, 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 I like to have a dynamic a dynamic universe that doesn't feel like I'm living in a post-apocalypse. All right, but find point nine because I only have like 16 credits to begin with. All right, so and I took out the um, I, I took out the OXP that does the docking fee, uh, just because it added an extra screen, and the docking fees were always so minimal that they were negligible for gameplay purposes. They didn't mean anything other than just add a little bit of flavor, but it did delay getting into the station, so, you know. Oh, this is the ghost ship again. The ghost ship a message uh, talking about a ghost ship uh, somewhere in uh, a Cobra 2 uh somewhere out in the in the dark somewhere uh, we got this in the first season all right let's see here okay so we can sell liquor and wines at a plus 10 percent. okay yeah so we're get, get a little bit of a profit um but we're back to 99.9 .9 because of the fan the fine <laughs> we didn't make any money oh no all right, well, can I get like one ton of that, please? One ton of computers, thanks. All right. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's go switch our HUD. Where's my HUD switch? Can I not do it here? Uh-oh. Hmm. I should be able to switch my HUD here. Maybe I removed the ability to do that by accident. Configure add-ons, so on and so on. Hmm. All right, well, what I'm going to do then is I am going to pause this. I'm gonna come back in. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can figure that out. Come back in and continue running the running this episode. All right, I'm back. Uh, turns out I uh, uh, accidentally removed the HUD selector equipment uh, mod, which is necessary to do this. All right, so we're going to Vamana HUD with 12 MFDs this time because why not? Done. All right. Now we are here. Do we buy stuff? Uh, yes, we did buy the computers. So we're gonna have to do a quick run, maybe up to here. That's a democracy. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up to there. Oh no, no, better to the anarchy system, although and they're not gonna let me in. Uh, I'll just have to take the hit. Oh, but if I do that, Oh god, am I gonna Am I just gonna lose money again? Well, let's see. Fabulous cuisine though. It's got fabulous cuisine. Alright, so that's that that solves that. We're gonna we're gonna go there. So let me make sure I've got the right save. Yes. We're going there. 100 percent Oh yeah, and I just realized, uh yeah, you can see I've got missiles. <clears throat> Okay, something weird's happening with that HUD up there. What is going on? Uh, let me see. Next MFD. And I told 111. All right, let's uh, 
cycle that out. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, because we don't have really any equipment yet. Why is it doing uh, doing this uh, e telescopy auxiliary disabled? That should be telescope auxiliary disabled. I wonder if that's a glitch with the font or a glitch with the uh, telescope, the updated telescope mod that um, that I have installed. Uh, it was it's not available yet on the expansion manager because uh, it's kind of been semi beta. I'll have to check in with that and see what's going on because that's uh, that's kind of hilarious. Uh, Star system lane indicator and then T, -t Lep Lepkos T no Taz gear. Wow. Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't get all messy when uh, uh, when we actually get the telescope. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Vermont, we don't have the travel info. We don't have the target info. We don't have the ship info mods. Oh boy. I mean the the ship mods, not the game mods. So we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have our work cut out for us if we want to get back up to a decent, um, you know, a decent level of of, of uh, equipment competency to compensate for my decided lack of actual skill competency. Well, are we not going? There we go. Yeah, it took a second. Yeah, again, it's because of all the mods I've added, it takes longer to load in and so forth, and that's fine. All right. Where are we now? We're in Reedcot. Reedcot, the fabulous cuisine. Yes, okay. Oh, mass lock by ships up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's head on over. Oh, uh, do I want to get a little bit of money? Oh, come on. Do I want to make a little bit of money by selling my lasers? My laser. And then maybe selling my missiles? I did that last time. I'm wondering if maybe that's worthwhile again, just so I can bootstrap a little bit. Because our limitation right now is not having enough money just to get enough cargo. And that's a, that's going to be a major problem. So I think that might be the way to go. I don't know if this is the place to do it. Definitely not. I might have to go back to Lave for that. To get uh, like equipment or something. Well, I mean, I might be able to just sell it here. Yeah, I don't think there's a price discrepancy if I unload and sell here. But I guess we'll find out. Boy, do I miss the telescope. Wow. That's not what I want. What is that? I want to get away from that. No, it's probably just wreckage. Okay. So where's our station? Where's our station? Oh, mass locked. Okay. Where's our station? Ah, there. Right there. And you can tell I've tracked it because of the music. A little bit. Ooh. Tetrahedral station. I don't think it even has a buoy, does it? I don't see a buoy. Huh. I wonder... Yeah, it's probably because it's a tech level 4 anarchy system. It just doesn't have... Oh, God. Did you see that? Damn it. There's a fight happening. Oh, no. Maybe there is a buoy. Yeah, I think that's it. that is the buoy right there. Maybe. Yeah, but I took out the uh, the texture remap for the buoys so that they look like this again. The the newer the ones in the mod that I had that they looked kind of funky. I wasn't a fan of those. Uh, but there's a fur ball happening right now, and I am not getting involved in that. Look at that. 
This is one of my uh, OXPs that got added. Uh, that, that got added, like I, like I didn't do it on purpose, that I added called Furball. Uh, it's also not yet on the expansion manager, I don't think. Um, but it just adds uh, combats out in space that have nothing to do with you, and it's like big furballs of, of combat that um, you know maybe you get sucked into sometimes, but oftentimes you don't, and so you just kind of can watch it. And again, that, for me, the, the, the advantage of that is just that there's ambiance, right? I mean, it's just it just makes everything cooler. Clearance cannot be granted. Yeah, all right. Okay. I'm just going in anyway. I might get fined, but I don't have any money to get fined on. So, look at this station. It's so cool. I'm going to crash into something, aren't I? I'm going to get hit by somebody. No, I didn't. Okay, good. I've been fine 1.5. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Do I have... Oh, okay. Yeah, we made 8.1 credits on that run. All right. Yes, we are, we are living the good life now. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're going to have to... Uh, oh, man, I, do, I definitely missed having all these fancy equipments... Most of which I'll never use, but I just like having them here. It's like a nice, fluffy, warm blanket. All right. So we can now, with the... Uh, I've got an OXP that lets me unmount single pylons, or I can unmount all of them. And I'm going to unmount all of them. I have three missiles, but we need the money. There we go. And then I'm going to remove the laser. There we go. We got a little bit of money. Okay. Now... Let's do some buying here. Okay, radioactives. Um, hmm. Let me see here. I don't want, no, I want carrier in stock. That's fine. Uh, and I want sort by price. Okay. Yeah, radioactives are farther down. Okay. Furs, yeah. And narcotics, but those are going to be legally restricted in most places. All right, so let's get some furs. We managed to get all 20. Okay, good. Yeah, see, that was worth it. That, that was worth it because this this will be a cascade. This will allow us to, to make some money. Um, so do we want to go from here? Yeah, let's go back down to Leasty. Yeah, let's go back down to Leasty, do some selling, and then maybe see if we can... Oh, you know what? I told myself I was going to check things like... Um, doing uh, missions and stuff. Let's see. Bullet board. Black box recovery. That one requires the space compass. I do not have that yet. And the recover stolen items. It requires the navigational array, which I also don't have yet. And the broadcast comms, which I don't have yet. Emails. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's what that is. All right. Galactic News Network. <laughs> the beacon on our array in Mobile was activated a full standard week earlier than required. Look out for the media circus next time you are in the neighborhood. <laughs> Require a visa for on, all undocumented travelers. Okay, that's explaining the, the OXP that, uh, that makes us get visas. Scientists are close to identifying the strain of indigenous bacteria that has been wreaking havoc on the health of the human colonists for 300 years. Eronona. Okay. Alright, so that's all we got there. Yeah, we don't have any, any other mission options or anything like that. Specialty cargo trading? What was that about? No special cargo in hull. Okay, so we could... Yeah, so this is... Uh, ooh. It's off, they're offering Anlerian tank cannons, which is firearms. Hmm. Yeah. So that. So the question is, is this meaningful? I can I, I. don't. I forgot to look it up to see if this was worthwhile or if this is just sort of a gimmick. Um. Anyway, maybe maybe down the road. Oh, oh I just missed something there, though, didn't I? There was a. Uh, Permits, contracts, regulations, import. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
And then the trade floor. Oh yeah, the bidding. Okay, yeah, well, maybe we'll we'll try that at some point once we have a bit more money and we actually have cargo space. We'll try that again. All right, so we're going to head down here. And are we far enough away? Maybe not. Too close. Okay, fine. Get a little bit farther away. That should be good. Uh, I did miss all of these mods. I really did. Just added a great deal of immersion to the game. All right, back in Leasty. We've got some asteroids out there. Ah, dang it. Oh, not again. Come on, guys. I'm just trying to get home to mama. There we go, all right. Ah, crap. And here I am without any freaking weapons. Go, 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 go. There we go. All right. Here's my station. There's a, there's a something, a station of some sort right over there. the actual oh god it's in the darkness look at that all right can't remember if i'm allowed to dock here or not i don't remember what kind of station this is it's corporate yeah probably whoops nope stop it probably not allowed yeah i think corporates are are like the uh, like the others right Yes, visa holders only. All right, well, we'll just take the fine. I have a lot more money. Well, not a lot. But I have more money this time, so it is going to cost me more. Yeah, so we're just going to do it. Oh, God. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. We're going to wait for this guy. Is that a moray? What is that? I can almost recognize them now. Get out of my... I guess I'm the one who's in the wrong direction, in the wrong spot. Okay. Please kill. No, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna go in. Just gonna go in. Yeah, I know. I don't have docking clearance. You're just gonna have to find me. Eh, 19. All right. All right. All right. And we're gonna sell the furs. Uh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's a decent, decent haul there. 1777. All right, so uh, we are at 29 minutes in this episode, and I think I'm going to uh, call it here. Let's see. Do we have anything that we want to pick up? Okay, there's a parcel delivery. Needs to get there within 209 hours. That's a tight... I, I, I don't think I can do that just because I don't have a fuel scoop well, maybe, maybe the fuel stations will help me. I'm gonna try it. Oh, they want more experience curry. Never mind. I should look at that first. Asteroid removal? Nope. Don't have a weapon. Cargo? Don't, nope. Not gonna do that. Whoops. That's not what I want. All right. So for right now, we got nothing uh, that we can do. That's okay. Next time around, uh, maybe we'll move to another another set of areas, set of zones up here, maybe, and then uh, hopefully make uh, make a little bit of money. 
do some missions if we can get them, and then uh, buy some equipment so we are not quite so blind. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.